So I'm making headway fast. Um, two more bays to go, and I got. I'm at the northwest corner. Um, and then this whole north side will be insulated and Tyvekt. I'm out of metal screening, so I can't do any more. I have a couple of scraps left. I have a couple of areas that uh, I saw one right in the middle that's blown out big time. So I have a bundle of insulation in the shed that's not faced. There's no paper on it. So I'm going to dig that out, and I'm going to start using it as fluff and stuff it up into these cavities that are blown out um, to fill them back up. And then I'm going to push the existing cardboard cladding back up into place. And then I'm going to um, put a piece of metal screening up over to hold it in place and then nail that to the stringers. Uh, right now, um, I'm out of... Uh, let's button this up so it looks beautiful mode and I'm in let's get this all sealed up to stop the bleeding of the cold and just call it good for this winter and then next spring get under there again and finish it up and do it right so with, you know, the primary purpose of the screening is to keep the rodents out. With good um, rodent control around the perimeter, uh, I'm not going to worry too much about that. I really don't think... Um, the rodents that were in there originally well they're not in there now but that were in this this belly area I don't I'm not so sure they're rats I want to say they're more red squirrels because uh, there's tons of acorns in there and I don't think rats like acorns At least all the reading and literature that I've done as far as training to get my license as an exterminator back in the day, it was never once mentioned, you know, there was talk about food sources for rats and never once was acorns mentioned. Um, they like, uh, well, they like grains and stuff like that, but they... They actually like meat and organic material like that. Cheese and meat and whatnot. But I don't know. Here regardless. What's gonna happen here is I'm 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 probably gonna get this done today. Everything every open pocket with an exposed floor is gonna be insulated and Tyvekt. And then the remaining screening I have is going to be used to hold up and shore up these areas that are blown out. I've got one right under me right now. I'm sitting on top of it. Where, I don't know how it happened, but that cardboard got all blown out and all the blown insulation that was in that pocket had, has fallen out and it's just a wide open cavity. So, I'm going to stuff the unfaced insulation in there and uh, just fill up that void and then gently close up the cardboard again um, and then just put a piece of uh, metal screening over the top to hold it in place for now and call it good. That way the rodents can't get in at that location and they're going to be hard pressed a rodent needs an edge to start working on before it can chew it away and, and gain access. It can't just start chewing on a smooth surface because 
the way its teeth are designed, it can't get a bite into it. So it actually needs an edge to start on. So once I get this, these blown out areas shored back up with metal screening, um, I'll be good to go for the winter. And then I'll just finish it in the spring. Uh, yeah. So cold front came through. That was forecasted. It's kind of crazy how the weatherman is <laughs> pretty spot on as of late. Uh, but they said around noonish, the 50-degree uh, temperatures would magically vanish and the temperature would drop. And it's gone down about 10 degrees outside right now. It's, it's pretty chilly out there. But as long as I keep working and f work fast, I stay pretty warm. So, I'll give you an overview when it's all done on that north side. But so far, it's going good. And I think I'll have enough uh, of the new roll of insulation that I bought. I think I'll have enough to get it all done with some leftover, possibly. So, that's a good thing. So, uh, we'll check in with you soon.